Hey everybody, Belgram here again. Today, let's take a look at the bazaar. Uh, there is a lot offered at the bazaar besides hats, robes, and boots. So, let's go on inside and take a look. I wanted to give a special shout out to Kelly Death Tamer. How you doing, girl? I hope you're having a great day. All right, guys, let's come on in here and get started. Now, when I first click X, it takes a little bit of time to load. And the reason why is because it loaded every piece of equipment that I can buy. But I may not necessarily be able to use it. Like this hat, for instance. It's for fire school. And I'm life. Derp. There's a way to solve that problem. If you notice down here this red X that says close, well, directly to the left of it, you will see usable. Go ahead and click on that. Now that you've clicked on that, now you can only choose from the equipment that you can use, which is all right by me. This top row here says name, quantity, level, school, and cost. By clicking on any of these, you can sort the equipment. For instance, if we click on name, now what we've done is we have sorted the equipment alphabetically, either in ascending order or descending order. In other words, we can start with the equipment that starts with A, or we can start with the equipment from the bottom of the alphabet and work our way back up. The second way we can sort is by the quantity. If you click the number sign, it will show you the equipment that maybe there's only one of. And you can work your way forward. Now there's two, etc. Or if you click the number sign again, you can see the equipment that there's a hundred of. We can also sort by level, by school. And what this means is, now I'm only going to look at equipment that is specifically for my school. And finally, we can sort by cost. A good reason to do this is sometimes because the best items cost the most gold. Now, above cost, you will see a yellow arrow with a house. Go ahead and click on that. Now, you're able to choose from all kinds of different housing items that you may want to purchase. And again, you can sort by name, the quantity available, and the cost. Again, above cost, there's another yellow arrow with treasure cards. Click on that. Now you see a list of treasure cards that are available for sale, and they are separated by school. If you click on any of these icons, it will immediately bring up all the Life Spell treasure cards that are available in the bazaar. And again, we can sort those by name, quantity, rank, set, and cost. What exactly does set mean? Well, set means that this Leprechaun card came from a horde pack. And a lot of times, if you have a crafting quest that involves a Leprechaun treasure card, a Leprechaun treasure card from a set will not work. You will need to find a Leprechaun that is not part of a set. So we'll sort by name and we'll scroll over to the Leprechauns and here is a Leprechaun that you would need for your crafting. So any crafting recipe that requires a treasure card, make sure it does not have the set symbol in its description. Now finally, above cost, again, there is a yellow arrow. Go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to look at reagents and pet snacks. With the reagents, just like before, you can sort by name the quantity, the rank of the reagent, the school of the reagent, and yes, finally, the cost, and pet snacks. 
Same process here. Sort by name, number, rank. Look at that, a flatjacks for sale. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions, or you want me to make a video on another topic, please let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. Bye, everybody.